I'm gonna make a pot pie. Now this recipe you could do with chicken, mm -hmm. you could do without mushrooms. We're gonna substitute what you would normally put in, say you wanted a starch and you wanna put potatoes in. I'm gonna substitute the potatoes for morels because we have yeah, them. so nice. Now morels themselves, if you just wanted to take them and really have yourself a good snack, if you wanted these for a side, take them, cut them up. Some people put a little bit of flour on them. You can do that, you can bread them. I like them in butter. That's how I like them. With onions mm -hmm. or a little bit of garlic. Mainly sweet onions. Oh yeah. Just mix them up, turn them up, and you got something good. So what we're gonna do to get this thing started, Mrs. Farmer, is we're gonna bring this turkey breast over here. Now it is a little tougher. And I wanna thank another buddy, Tim Sloan. I haven't had the chance to get out and hunt much. You haven't. Tim Sloan got his bird the other day. He says, hey, you wanna have a breast? Yes. I said, Yes, I do. So he was gracious enough to give me this. So what I'm gonna do with this breast, before I put it in here, I'm gonna tenderize it just a little bit. I'm gonna use probably half of this. I'd okay. guess this to be about two pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. Good sharp knife always helps. And wow. again, obviously, if this is a hunted bird, you would wanna look real good for pellets. And you think about a domestic turkey as opposed to a wild turkey. Think about how it lives its life. First of all, He's out foraging. He's eating grass, he's eating buds, he's eating insects, he's eating natural things. So everything in the woods also wants to eat him. Right. Everything from coyotes mm -hmm. to bobcats, eagles, mm -hmm. anything that can get their teeth or talons in a turkey, look, would you not want to eat that? Oh yeah, so he can't relax is what so you're saying. So he can't relax. That's right. They are strong flyers, mm -hmm. strong flyers. You've seen them fly completely oh, across yeah. the interstate. When they get up and go, they can get up and go. Their legs are tough. Mm -hmm. We've taken their legs, and another buddy of mine, Billy Bob, used to take them and, and cut those up and make a pate out of yeah. that. Really cook them down right. until you could do something with them. So here's what we're gonna do, Mrs. Farmer. I'm gonna take a piece of plastic, and I'm just gonna tenderize that just a little bit. Now I'm gonna come back and cut that into small bite-sized pieces. Think about the size of a piece of meat that you would want in your pot pie. Right. You wouldn't want it to be no. the size of your it's head. little babies. Now we're starting off with a little onion right here. Got How onion. many recipes have started like this, Ms. Farmer? 160 pounds. All right, let's start also. Ms. Farmer can't stand butter, can you? I hate butter. I'm cut my onion. I'm gonna use probably three quarters of this onion. Not the whole thing, I'm gonna cut it up and the fingernail size pieces. So we're gonna have just about that much. Now, this being a pot pie recipe, if you don't like mushrooms or you don't have the ingredients for this, again, the basics are, we've got cream of chicken soup, we've got peas and carrots. I like the frozen ones. Mm -hmm. When it comes to a pot pie, the frozen ones oh, are just yeah. absolutely, there's something about yeah. them, absolutely wonderful. I guess that's what I'm used to having my whole life. And it's a lot easier to cut tiny little squares of carrots. Yeah, yeah, that's right. When it comes to pastries or any kind of pie dough or anything like that, Nikki has a simple recipe that she mm -hmm. uses and includes lard. We prefer lard. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> if you want to do a little research, if you're thinking, oh no, people tell us that we can't eat lard, right. do a little research. Know what you put in your body. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're going to splurge. Sometimes right. you're going to eat things you just shouldn't eat. And we're right. going to do that. All right, these are getting close. So now, Mrs. Farmer, mm -hmm. what do you think we should do? How about, let's say, just a little bit of duck fat in here? I think good idea. Just a little duck fat. And we're gonna set these aside in a minute. But our onions are to the point where they're getting done. I'm gonna take some of these beautiful, wonderful mushrooms, and I'm gonna cut those. I'm gonna eat the stem, too. Oh yeah, they're delicious. It's beautiful, wonderful. It is beautiful. I'm gonna pop that in there. And presentation-wise, these are quite beautiful. Now, if you would prefer no mushrooms, again, if you wanted a starch in this, a more classic take on the pot pie would probably be some potatoes. If you did that, I would just boil me some red skins, cut those up into little cubes, yeah. leave the skins on them. So we're gonna go wild turkey and morel pot pie. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. That's out of control. Mm -hmm. I like it. Does that make you happy? It does make me very Let happy. Let me see your happy look. When I'm hungry, I'm always happy when you're cooking. All right. Now, when these start to cook really good, 
in with those. Do you see, with a little bit of duck fat, mm -hmm. you see the kind of, you smell that earthy I do. flavor? That's going to go throughout this whole thing, and that's going to really give you a great taste. It's going to be subtle, but, I mean, when you have your pot pie, it's not going to be like your normal chicken pot pie. I'm excited. I'm ready. Okay, oh, Sammy. Oh, my. That's beautiful. <laughs> now, at this point, I'm going to start guiding my recipe into the right flavor. I'm going to put a little poultry seasoning in. All right, let's get a spoon and dip those out. So all those folks who are asking, what can I do with my morels? What can I do with my turkey? Here's one recipe. Duck fat again. Duck fat. Yeah. Now why duck fat? Because it tastes so wonderful. It does. It is. Every little subtle thing that you do to add flavor, all those little subtle things that you do on the front end come together in the end for something special. Duck fat is becoming more and more common in any store that we go into. I always look around to see if they have duck fat or beef tallow, and I'm seeing it more and more. It's much more easy to find than it used to be. And again, nothing we're doing here, we're trying to be fancy smancy right. or hooty tooty. We want that taste to just knock us mm -hmm. out when we eat it. I want Miss Farmer to be so impressed that she comes out and plants one right here on my face in front of everybody. I will. I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> is that for the mushrooms? That is. Yeah, the mushrooms are delicious. I'm going to cook mushrooms more often. And something else I'm going to do in lieu of more salt is I'm going to take a chicken bouillon cube for flavor to really bring up that. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Salt and deep bouillon flavor. Now, when we get to this point, I'm going to back off the heat a little bit. I'm going to take some cream of chicken soup. You can buy it or you can make your own. We've got roughly 20 ounces here. So we're going to let everything start to get acquainted. Now remember, Sorry. we've got our bouillon cube here. We're going to do that for flavor. I'm going to use probably half of this because I already have put some salt in there. A little more pepper. Got to have black pepper. Oh, yeah. Some more poultry seasoning. And you kind of know the more you cook how much you should put into this or that. We're going to come back with our mushrooms and onions that we cooked earlier. This is smelling so good. Oh, I could, I could wow. eat that right there in a cereal bowl. And then peas and carrots. Yummy. Got some peas and carrots. And that's probably about 12 ounces of peas and carrots. Now, does that not look like that looks perfect. the interior yes, perfect. of a pot pie? Is that not beautiful? That I'll tell you one thing I'm going to add, and I'm going to put, I really like, you're going to think I'm strange, but just a little bit of basil. Basil. I love basil. A little bit of dried basil. Yeah. Some people would put parsley. I find dried parsley, it tastes like cardboard. Basil has a little more flavor. It has a sweet like flavor. Basil. It really goes good yeah. with chicken. So we're going to heat that up just a little bit, but not much. We're well on our way to a wild turkey morel. Oh, yeah. Pot pie. pie. Now let's smell. Oh, are you kidding me? I could eat that like that. I think he's going to make a simple dough. That's right. With our lard. A pie dough with That's our right. lard. And you can use this for a lot of things. But this is going to be used for two things tonight. It is. That's right. Show us how you do it. Okay, and I actually, look at our beautiful lard. I mean, come on. Leaf lard yes. from a pasture raised pig. Look it up. Gotta start with that. And I've let it set out a little so you can see it's a little good. That's how I like it. I've got two thirds of a cup in here. And give me probably just a couple throws in there. Just like one. a, a put a little sugar. Do one more maybe. Just mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, perfect. All right. And I got two cups of flour here. All right. You know how you have fleeting memories when you're a kid and you remember certain little things. I remember my great grandmother parrot. I remember the smell of her kitchen, precisely. I remember the smell of apples. She always had apples, mm -hmm. and I always remember a faint little smell from the gas stove, and I always smelled matches from when she would light the oh, stove. Yeah. And my first taste of buttermilk, she snuck it in on me. She said, here, Timmy, you want a glass of milk? Yeah, I, and I bet you yeah. love that. And I was expecting milk. She laughed and laughed. I didn't think it was funny, I thought it was terrible. You still like buttermilk. I like buttermilk, right. but I don't think I want to drink a big cup full of it. You see how this is kind of thicker? Oh, this is what I like with the mm -hmm. lard. And I'm just kind of working it myself with my hands. Now here's the beauty of this. After we make our two little ramekins full of this, we got some left over. What do we do with it, Ms. Farmer? We freeze it. We I mean, freeze we it. Next time we want some, all she has to do is make her dough and we pop that in and we're good to go. 
I wish everybody could smell what we've got going on right here. And we are going to roll these out to fill these two pie shells. All right. All right. And there it is. There's one. I'm going to go ahead and tuck it in there. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to seal it. Oh. I remember mom taking her time with a fork or whatever it was to make the, to make everything look really pretty. Yeah, beautiful. You I think it did a better job on the one on the right. Yeah, all right. Now she's putting a leg white on there. That's just gonna make that brown up mm -hmm. nice and beautiful. Oh me, oh my. I just had a book when I was a kid. And it had a picture on it, but it was a muffin. Mm -hmm. And it was, do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do you, do you know where he lived? Drury Lane. He lived on Drury Lane. <laughs> and also we had a buggy that had hot cross buns. You remember that? I do. Back in the 1800s when That's we were kids? That's right. Yeah, when we were born. All right, you know what, Ms. Farmer? You look at that. Now, That's, they're pretty. I think, I think it did a little better job on that. Oh, they're both. This was the first one. Beautiful, both of them. But you're going to have, you might have some bubble up and leak out. But what you want to do, now you notice I cooked that a little bit here on purpose. Because at this point, we could eat that. We could eat this. This is gonna cook it a little bit more, and when that gets nice and brown, you have your bread for the night. Mm -hmm. You have a whole meal oh, yeah. right there. Yes. So let's pop it in, top or bottom? Top. I'm gonna go 375 on that for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending. Yeah. If we start getting nice and brown, we're there. Okay. You know, they say you are what you eat. So I don't eat chicken feet. I've seen you eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. I do too. But first, Mrs. Farmer. Do I get to dig in? Dig in. Can that's, I dig that's in anywhere? It's gonna be hot. Anywhere? Yeah, it's, it's all yours. I can just destroy. Oh wow. Come here and get you some of that. It's gonna be hot now. You know how hot pies are. Wow. Mm. <laughs> can you dig it? I love that. Now that's the thing about pot pie. I mean, you open that thing up. Oh, that's good. And you remember what temperature that was in. So many times as a kid, look at that. Look at this. Yeah. Just look. That's the way it's supposed to look. It's the way it's supposed to smell. And oh, it's delicious. The the crust is flaky. <laughs> A little bit hot. You're just, you're blowing steam. You're supposed to blow on it. Mmm. You see how flaky the crust is too. And that's the way you're supposed to burn. Uh -huh. your, that's mm. why you're supposed to burn your tongue. Mm -hmm. You did good. Tell me that's not perfect. That's perfect. Wait a minute. That sounds like I'm ringing my own bell. Delish. Oh you, my goodness. I really didn't burn my tongue. That's delicious. Oh my. I think it's worth another burn. Now, it may be subtle, but the wild turkey. It's good. And it's nice and tender. I noticed mm -hmm. that, is it, from what you did, the meat's good. I could eat this every day. You know what? This is really, really good. Remember as a kid, you'd get them at the store and they're frozen? Yes. Well, this is better. Yes, it is better. <laughs> mm. Oh. Delish. A little hot. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You need a drink. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that, well. mm -hmm. that might be my favorite pot pie. It's right delicious. Now. All right, so when you take a bite of this, those little peas are popping. Oh, it's good. You got the carrots. You, you, know, you know that's a natural, but you really dig deep for that flavor. Mm -hmm. And you, you taste the earthiness of the mushrooms. You taste just a little something different in the turkey that is. This is really it's good. It's just outstanding. I can dig it. I can too. It's good. You ready for dessert? I am. Mm -hmm.